All right, so it's been a few days since I put my new vapor barrier in. Basically just uh, visqueen or plastic sheeting. Uh, and you can see the condensation on the underneath of the plastic. So you can see that it is doing its job. And now, we're going in to work on something else. There's no moisture on the top. Just you can see there's moisture underneath. I got two little projects I'm gonna work on today. Let's see, it's, it's not very much room to crawl. Uh, this is a 14 inch pipe wrench. And you can see it goes to just barely underneath this girder. All right, here in just a little bit, we're actually gonna work on that hot wire right there. I'm not gonna cut the power to the house just yet. But what I am going to do is we're going to come over there to that black pipe. If you're claustrophobic, this is definitely not something we want to be doing. I sure hope there's no yucky mess inside this pipe. stuff that needs to be done you can see that old pipe right there you can see the open part on the top part ain't no telling what that went to in the past and it goes over and just goes in the ground and there's another one sticking up i don't know what that is oh hopefully it's not something else to let the moisture in i need to get over there and get that one too so anyway all right time to work on this uh black pipe and get it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go way over there and see if I can pull it out. So here we go. Oh, and while I'm here, look at that. I don't know how well you, if you can really tell in the camera or not, but you can see the bow of my girder. That don't sound right. The girder of the house. I will definitely say it's nice crawling around on this nice dry, vapor barrier instead of a moist dirt yeah all right so what i intended to record of me taking the black pipe out actually did not record i must not have hit the button or done something that messed it up anyway so all it was was i got over to the point to where the end was used a hacksaw and cut a piece off pulled some more out then I had to go get a hammer to take off the uh, straps that was holding it to the floor joist. And then after that, I'd done one more cut and then I was able to take all my pieces out. So now I got the pipe out. Now I just need to go get a cap. A uh, neat little trick to uh, make sure you get the right size cap. You can just take a piece in, the connection piece in, and test it on another piece that's already there in the store, like this. And then all you got to do is just find a cap. So I know I need a two inch cap. So here we are in the house again, getting ready to install this junction box. Now the housing code requires that any splices like this need to be inside of an enclosure and then also if the wire itself is not attached to a solid surface like a wall or something within eight inches of it you need to have the clamps so that is what we have here got clamps got the junction box got a cover it's going to go on it and the connection is going to be fully enclosed right now my electricity is not cut off and so here is this wire tester that I picked up at Home Depot uh, the one that I did have was about 12 years old hadn't used it in probably 10 years so it's a new one and it's really easy to use all you do is stick it up close to the oh 
Yep. See? That's a hot wire. I'm thinking it's going to go right there. Alright, the box is attached. Time to go kill the power and uh, then get the wires in there. Alright, so my utility box does not have a main switch. So, I'm just going to kill it all. Alright, so here I am under the house. Power is turned off. And uh, let's test and see. Nothing. Here we go. You see what they've done? They just stripped the wires. All right, so that took a minute to, to get done, but now I've got the wires connected. All I've got to do is just tighten up these clamps and put on this plate right here. Alright, so that's the way it should look. All done. Now let's go turn the power on and <clears throat> make sure the lights in the house actually work. Turn all the power back on. That light works. That light works. A couple things to remember for sure. You definitely want to make sure that your uh, Electricity is completely off before you get under your house and doing something like that. I've been hit with 110 electricity before. It don't feel good, but it, I'm sure it feels a whole lot better when you're standing inside of a house being hit by it versus laying down on the ground and being hit by it. Um, if you want a comparison, just go touch an electrical fence for like a dog or something. Do it standing up and then do it laying down. You can tell there's two differences. It's the the path of resistance to the ground for the electricity is a whole lot less when you're laying on it. So be cautious if you're going to do anything with your electricity underneath your house uh, with electricity period. Uh, take the uh, precautions. Uh, make sure the electricity is off. Uh, go spend 12 bucks to get you something like this uh, just to make sure. Yeah, I could have flipped all the switches off and said, yeah, it's off. But who knows? There might have been something hot wired. Uh, straight in and no breakers or anything like that you never know so take the time to be safe before you do anything like that today was a successful day got two of the projects done that I wanted to got the black pipe 
cut and capped off that way no fumes from the sewer would be emitting into the crawl space underneath my house and then I also got the hot wire taken care of it was a huge safety hazard because I will be doing a lot more work in that general area due to floor joists being cut from the heating furnace that used to be there so now that that's taken care of I won't have that worry uh, about being cautious around it and so I just want to reiterate if you're working with electricity be safe be careful take those extra steps if you're not sure what you're doing call an electrician they'll be more than glad to help you of course you probably have to pay them something for that time maybe you know a buddy that could help you out i don't know but just be safe when you're working with it and i appreciate you taking the time to watch hopefully you learned something from it and hopefully in the future i'll have some additional content that will also be helpful to you as i continue to do projects and improvements on my house again thank you have a great day.